Welcome back to The Public Speaker. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that has recently captured our attention. If you haven't already heard, Upside Foods and Good Meat have recently received approval from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to start producing their cell-based proteins, also known as lab-grown meat. In this case, they are focusing on chicken. Now before you throw up, I'm just kidding about the throwing up part. But I'm not joking when I say, hit that subscribe button now. Now one of the first concerns that may come to mind is the safety of consuming lab-grown meat. This is a valid question and concern, especially considering the growing interest in this technology. So much interest that in fact, a recent survey found that 64% of Americans are open to trying lab-grown meat. Personally, I am not part of that 64%. This gets us to wonder, can lab-grown meat really be safer alternative to regular meat? Well, let's take a deep dive into lab-grown meat and find out. To understand the safety of lab-grown meat, we must first explore the scientific processes involved. We must also explore its origin. So how did it all even begin? Let's explore the intriguing history of lab-grown meat. The concept of producing meat in a laboratory, also known as cultured meat or in vitro meat, dates back several decades. The first serious exploration of lab-grown meat began in the early 2000s when a Dutch researcher named Dr. Mark Post made significant strides in animal cell research. In 2013, Dr. Post captured global attention by presenting the world's first lab-grown burger at a press conference in London. The burger was created from cow muscle cells grown in a laboratory. This represented a remarkable scientific achievement. Dr. Post's pioneering work ignited curiosity and sparked a wave of interest in lab-grown meat, thus creating the Power Puff Girls. Oops. I meant thus creating further research into lab-grown meat. The concept attracted attention from scientists, entrepreneurs, and investors. They recognized its potential to revolutionize the way we produce and consume meat. Since then, the field of lab-grown meat has rapidly evolved, with numerous companies and research institutions contributing to its progress. Advances in tissue engineering, cell culture techniques, and bioreactor technology have played a significant role in the development of lab-grown meat. Over the years, the production process has become more refined and efficient. Researchers have successfully cultivated various types of meat, including beef, chicken, pork, and even seafood. Each success has presented its unique challenges. But continuous innovation and collaboration have propelled the industry forward. Cultured meat begins with a small sample of animal cells. They are carefully nurtured and multiplied to create a meat-like product. Researchers implement stringent quality control measures to ensure the absence of pathogens and toxins. They closely monitor the growth conditions, nutrition, and sanitization protocols to maintain a safe and controlled environment. Since lab-grown meat is produced in a controlled environment, the need for antibiotics is significantly reduced or eliminated entirely. This reduction in antibiotic use reduces the risk of antibiotic resistance, which is also a growing concern in public health. We all know that traditional meat production has faced its fair share of safety concerns, from bacterial contamination to the use of antibiotics and hormones. But can lab-grown meat actually provide a safer alternative? Food safety is a paramount concern. So let's dive into the scientific processes at play. As we stated earlier, cultured meat starts with a small sample of animal cells. These cells are carefully fed nutrients and grow in laboratory conditions, which enable the meat to be created. It's almost like how we grow plants in a greenhouse. Researchers also employ stringent quality control measures to provide the most sanitary conditions. They also closely monitor the growth conditions, nutrition, and sanitization protocols ensuring a safe and controlled environment. Regulatory agencies worldwide are closely monitoring the development of lab-grown meat. Rigorous testing and evaluation processes are being put in place to ensure its safety for consumption. These agencies assess the safety, composition, labeling, and production methods of lab-grown meat. They work in collaboration with scientists, industry experts, and stakeholders to establish guidelines and standards. So this gets me thinking, how did Upside Foods and Good Meat get FDA approval? This seems like a lot of work to make some fake meat. Well, Good Meat is a subsidiary of plant-based egg substitute maker Eat Just. So they already have some skin in the game with their plant-based egg substitute. They grown their cultivated chicken in giant vats, similar to those you'd find in a brewery. Interestingly enough, the concept of lab-grown meat isn't entirely new. In fact, Good Meat's chicken was previously available in Singapore, where it was received with enthusiasm. 
the product is promoted as meat without slaughter, reflecting a more humane approach to meat consumption. This aspect resonates with those concerned about animal welfare and seeks a more compassionate and sustainable alternative to traditional meat. Supporters of cultivated meat also hope that it can contribute to fighting climate change by reducing reliance on traditional animal agriculture, which is a significant source of greenhouse gas emissions. Traditional animal agriculture contributes significantly to deforestation, water pollution, and greenhouse gas emissions. By transitioning to lab grown meat, we can reduce the environmental footprint associated with conventional meat production. The efficient use of resources, such as land, water, and feed, combined with the elimination of methane emissions from livestock, presents a promising pathway to combating climate change and preserving our planet for future generations. This is why and how lab grown meat has built its foothold. These series of previous approvals and milestones that have paved the way for the cultivation of meat in labs. Just last week, Good Meat obtained approval for product labels from the USDA. And earlier this year, they received a no-questions letter from the Food and Drug Administration, confirming the safety of their product. With regulatory barriers being overcome, the era of cultivated meat is dawning upon us. As these breakthroughs unfold, the landscape of our food system undergoes a remarkable transformation. But at what costs? Is this lab-grown meat alternative as safe as regular meat? Like any new technology, lab-grown meat has its own unique risks and benefits. And it's important to compare them to make an informed judgment. On the one hand, lab-grown meat avoids the use of antibiotics, reduces the risk of zoonotic diseases, and has lower environmental impacts. On the other hand, Concerns remain about the long-term effects of consuming cell-based products and the potential for unforeseen risks. How can we confidently say it is safe if humans haven't been consuming it for a significant period of time? This is a valid concern that calls for continued research and scrutiny. The path to consumer acceptance is paved with trust and transparency. With each passing year, lab-grown meat continues to gain momentum as a viable and sustainable alternative to traditional meat production. But even as lab-grown meat continues to evolve, it's crucial for companies to engage in open communication, address safety concerns, and provide clear information about the production process. Through education, research, and open dialogue, we can collectively navigate the path towards a safer and sustainable future of meat consumption. While the long-term safety implications of lab-grown meat are still being explored, as we continue to dive into this groundbreaking technology, it's encouraging to see the scientific community and regulatory agencies taking proactive steps to ensure its safety. What are your thoughts on the safety of lab-grown meat? Do you think there will be long-term repercussions of consuming lab-grown meat? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you want to learn more about this I have left some links in the description below. This video was intended to provide information and education on lab-grown meat. It is up to you to formulate your own opinion based off of the facts. We personally believe this meat will harbor its own side effects. That will later be discovered, as with other new innovations. However, humans are adaptable and our bodies will eventually evolve and be able to consume this product, minimizing the side effects in the future. That is just our opinion. And as always, thanks for watching. We will see you in our next video.